Hola amigos, welcome to Learn Spanish World. Today we're going to learn something really interesting and very handy and useful. How do you ask someone for their name in Spanish? Easy. So if you got somebody right in front of you who speaks Spanish and you want to find out their name, you would have to ask them, ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? Now, you probably notice a question mark at the end, but you also notice a question mark at the start. You must be wondering, what is that? And in Spanish, we use a question mark at the start of a question. So whenever we're reading, as soon as we see this symbol here, this sign, this question mark, which is inverted, as you can see, it's upside down, that means that we are just about to ask a question. So that's when we actually inflect our voices. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo? Two syllables. ¿Te llamas? The double L in the Spanish sounds like Z, Z. Llamas. Llamas. Two syllables. ¿Cómo te llamas? Now, no one in a Spanish-speaking country will talk to you like ¿Cómo te llamas? I'd be very surprised if that happened. Most people will just speak naturally, and it may sound extremely fast to an English speaker. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? Now, in the Spanish, you have different accents. I know people who speak very slowly. ¿Cómo te llamas? And I know some friends who speak very fast. ¿Cómo te llamas? So if you want to find out the name of someone in front of you, let's say that somebody walks through the door and walks up to you. Obviously, you would say, hola. How are you? ¿Cómo estás? And then you would like to find out their name. So you would ask, ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? And the person would reply, me llamo. Let's say his name is Paul in English, but in Spanish is Pedro. So he would say, me llamo Pedro. One more time. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Pedro. Now, let's say it at normal speed, just like a native speaker would ask you. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Pedro. One more time. I'll say it slowly, and then I will say it in a normal speed. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Pedro. Normal. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Pedro. One more time. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Pedro. Now, notice the T. The T in Spanish is very soft, so you wouldn't say, ¿Cómo te llamas? You would say, ¿Cómo te llamas? Notice, it's very, very gentle, very soft. T. Place your tongue right behind your upper teeth. Your front upper teeth. ¿Cómo te? ¿Te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? This is known as a reflexive pronoun, and so is this. Se. And so is se. But we'll talk about that later on once you're actually covering the more advanced videos. But don't worry too much about these um, reflexive pronouns. It may sound a bit intimidating. At the moment, just learn how to ask someone what their name is. And later on, one, once you've mastered this, we'll be able to uh, go deeper and learn about reflexive pronouns and reflexive verbs and so on. Okay, so let's say that you're talking to Pedro. You already found out his name is Pedro. Then a girl walks through the door. Her name is Maria. That's Mary in Spanish, Maria. So you want to ask Pedro, what's this girl's name? How would you ask him? You would ask, ¿Cómo se llama? Notice, once again, the reflexive pronoun this time is se, because we're talking about a third person here. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? So he could reply by saying, se llama Maria. Se llama Maria. So her name is Mar Mary. Now, notice over here, you must be wondering, what's this? We've actually, we got another video that talks about the personal pronouns. But in here, we got two personal pronouns. 
Él means he and ella means she. So when you ask, ¿Cómo se llama? What's her name? Your friend could respond, Ella se llama María. Ella, she, is called Mary. Ella se llama María. Now, if it's a guy, let's say his name is John in Spanish, which is Juan, he would say, Él se llama Juan. Él se llama Juan. Now, remember what I said to you. Very important. The double N in Spanish has a Z, Z sound. Ya. Ya, J, G, Yo, Ju. Now, most Spanish speakers pronounce it like that. Now, keep in mind that just like in English, Spanish countries also have different accents. So, for example, if you went to Argentina, Uruguay, they would pronounce it like llamas, like a sh, sh, llamas. But most Spanish countries would actually pronounce it as a j, ya, llamas. Okay, so let's do it for the last time. How do you ask someone for their name? You would ask, ¿Cómo te llamas? What's your name? And the person would respond, Me llamo Pedro. Me llamo María. Me llamo Juan. And if you want to ask them about a third person, you want to find out who that person's name is, the guy standing in the corner, you would ask the person in front of you, ¿Cómo se llama? You could also ask, ¿Cómo se llama él? What's his name? ¿Cómo se llama él? Or, what's her name? ¿Cómo se llama ella? ¿Cómo se llama ella? That's if you want to sound a little bit more sophisticated. If you want to keep things simple, you can simply ask, ¿Cómo se llama? All right, so here we go. I'll say it in a very slow way. I will say it in a very slow manner, and then I will, and then I pretty much say it at normal speed. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo, me llamo, señor Brignardo. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? Se llama Brignardo. Se llama Juan. As you can see, it's not difficult. It's not very difficult to learn how to ask someone's name. And you got plenty of opportunities to practice this. Even if you don't have anyone else, you can practice before a mirror or, or with yourself. Or you can also practice on your own if you don't have anyone to practice with. Preferably, it'd be a good idea if you have a um, relative, a brother, sister, or your parents, or someone that you know that may be interested in helping you with the Spanish. So you can practice this. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo. ¿Cómo se llama? Se llama. Very simple, very easy, and it will pretty much pave the way for you to keep learning Spanish and enhancing your vocabulary and your knowledge in the language. It's a relatively easy language. If you really stick to it, if you don't give up, if you just set aside five to ten minutes, you don't have to really grab five huge books and start learning about everything. By keeping things simple and, and brief, sometimes you can actually progress quicker. By setting aside five to ten minutes each day, you will be able to be speaking Spanish in a few more months. But it's very important that you don't give up, that you are con that you continually keep learning and watching our videos. So if you like this lesson, please, I ask you to give me a like and to share our videos with other people that may be interested in learning Spanish. As I said to you, I will be doing all my best to upload a video every single day. In that way, you can simply concentrate in one thing at a time without covering too much. Sometimes I've seen some videos that go literally for hours and basically all you will remember from those videos are two or three words at the most. Everything else in some cases will be just a waste of time. So by keeping this simple, you will be able to master Spanish quicker. All right, my dear amigos, it's been a pleasure. Please give me a like. Subscribe, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, uh, uh, and we'll see you tomorrow. And we'll see you tomorrow with another daily Spanish video. Adios!